imbeciles. Why are great men always surrounded by lesser beings? Coming up, G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 101, The HasLab, Cobra Hiss Gunner. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the third figure in the HasLab Cobra Hiss line. And here we have our special tier review and unlock is Cobra Hiss Gunner. So with this figure, we actually got a female and that's, that's pretty cool. Nice addition to the classified line, especially to, uh, you know, mixed gender. So that was nice though. Here you have box art. The HasLab Judge of Classified Series Cobra Hiss Gunner. Flip to the side, 101. And there's your stats Cobra High Speed Century Gunner. Go around to the back. And uh, she actually comes with some different stuff as opposed to the others. She has this shovel, um, almost like a pickaxe slash hammer. The same two fists, same pistol, same crazy weapon, and looks like a nice assault rifle. Cool. Flip to the side. 788 Mark 1 G7C. Here you got the top six inches, 15 centimeters. Down the bottom, Semper Fidelis Serpens. Haslab GI Joe Classified Series. And that's it for the box. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. <laughs> but first. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, subscribe for future content. All right, so we're just strolling through these. We're already on number three, and I'm um, kind of excited for this one as well. I think uh, the tactician so far is my favorite. Um, once again, like, I didn't vote for that color, but I'm happy with it. He's, he's neat. Now we just gotta wait for the, the fire team to come in. So we'll get that off to the side. Here's a figure in her cardboard dungeon. Of course, smaller than the others, but it works. Definitely looks like it has some Frankenstein feet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break out the trusty Dusty. And we will cut her on out. Going pretty fast. And there we go. Figures out. Here you have artist render in the background and color. Very cool. And here is the figure. Yeah, I'm gonna be happy with this one um, because my hiss needs a gunner. We got the tactician, if you watched the last video, you know, rolling up alongside, about to face off against Desert Snake Eyes. But uh, yeah, he, they need a gunner. So she'll be going up there. Um, Overall, pretty cool. Um, got them legs again. I'm gonna go ahead and get to those first, actually, because she's got. A hell of a sole on there. Quite a large platform. So stands up taller than other female figures. Uh, we'll give it the head. And you see it's on a ball joint, of course. Look down that far. Look up that far. Not much in there. Slight side to side. The neck does move as well. It's on a ball joint. Can do a full 360. Go over to the shoulders here, and yes, there's butterfly joints. Doesn't look like it, but they are there. Uh, check out the arm. Eh, it doesn't go out that much. It can do a full 360, bicep rotation. See double jointed, pinless elbows. She also will actually carry one of these, uh, one of these arm radar thingies, whatever they are. Uh, same as the first his driver just um it's a bit smaller it's got the green the gold and the purple as he did so that's cool um her hands are on a hinge peg so they can go up and down and there is full 360 rotation uh let me see just a smaller version of this chest armor you know you got the red gloss with the black black straps the blue with the uh, the glossy black um, frame around it or border. 
Silver Cobra logo. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any ab crunch, but there is some torso swivel. And there is some waist swivel. It's kind of hard to get to, but it's there. Go down, black belt. Uh, a butt. You see, you have the black thigh holster right here. Uh, slight drop legs. They're there, but it's not much. Not much at all. Thigh rotation. Into them all black glossy boots. You have double jointed pinless knees. Uh, we'll hit up the ankle first. And you have the rotation. You go down. You have that hinge to the foot to go forward that far. And to go up that far. And of course, side to side pivot. Uh, very good. Pretty much just a, uh, a scaled down version of the hitch driver. And very cool. Alright. So let's go ahead and get into the accessories. And for that... We need our box. Here it is. Cobra Hiss Gunner 101. Nothing 101. Box is open up from the side. Like so. And slide out there. Grab your Cobra accessory bag. It is a bit more heavier than the others because, of course, she comes with a few extra pieces. Pop that open. Dump these out and we'll have a look. So first, I'm going to go ahead and go over um, the things that we've seen before, but a little different. So first, we will go over these hands. They are um, the same as you know the hiss driver and tactician, but they're uh, smaller scale. Um, you got the same clenched fist, this uh, red glove, and uh, black glossy you know hand cover. Um, does have the pegs to plug into the hands uh, and a much more scaled down I'm going to actually go ahead and take one of her hands off to see how it looks because I'm curious because her hands are, are pretty small but these are actually also small so maybe they might look a lot better on here but I don't see why a gunner is going to need uh, fist hands so I'll just plug that in is on the female and that looks so much better i don't know why the other ones are so large that actually looks more to scale hmm weird but pretty neat however we're not going to use these so i'll take that back off and plug her hand back in and we'll go over the rest of the accessories so next up we have the pistol same as the hitch driver all black hole at the end of the barrel for a blast effect. You have your sight up on the top, and that's pretty much it. And then we'll bring out a crazy rifle. Again, like the hitch drivers, same thing. All black, silver blade, stock that I wish was foldable, blade I wish was foldable as well, and a removable magazine. Now for some new stuff. So here you have this sort of uh, pickaxe hammer type deal. So that's pretty neat. You can see it's got this uh, bladed pick back here. You know, you chop into some stuff. Or if you need to slug some things, it has this almost pointed, you know, nice pinned piece of hammer up on the front. Uh, all black. Come down, you see it's got a couple like rivet areas in it. Moving around, it's got this you know, curved dip that comes out. And then your handle, which is ridged in two sections. Uh, that's pretty neat. Those will make a nice addition to uh, the storage area in the Hiss. And now here you have your new assault rifle. So, as I said, this assault rifle, this might be a uh, fully auto shotgun. Um, looking at it, you know, you have that foldable stock that also doesn't fold. You have... This grip right here which looks like you would be on a pump so and then you have this drum right here which looks like shotgun shells in it uh, the drum is removable look in the top 
and it's unpainted but there is a cartridge right on the top and I can slide right through the bottom there so bam so yeah I think this is probably a fully fully automatic shotgun uh, there is a hole at the front of the barrel for a blast effect and um, if not this is just a hell of a rapid fire you know shotgun however many are in there 40 50 but very cool very very cool I like that new addition new weapon nice and then finally we have this shovel so that's in cardboard to keep it safe get that out of here and um i thought this was maybe you know extendable but i guess not that doesn't curve down or nothing but here you just have a uh, little utility shovel you know who knows what they would need it for maybe if uh one of the treads gets stuck, you know, the gunner will come down and ch -ch -ch dig around it to get it out. You see the side of the blade, there's a serrated area, or maybe something bit it. <laughs> but what would bait, uh, what would, but what would bite actual, you know, metal like this and actually break it? So on a little design on the top right here, um, the handle itself is kind of flimsy, but all black and overall pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and gear her up. So first, we will take the pistol and slide it to a holster right there. Uh, I'm actually going to use this nice little uh, shotgun type deal here. It is a bit big. Um, her finger barely goes through that trigger. And I honestly don't see a female... You hardly ever see a female, you know, shoot a shotgun. I've seen it a few times in my life, but they don't handle it well. So, we just kind of pose her up, you know, quickly for this. We're going to leave them other things aside. And we'll slide all that stuff up in there. All right, and we're going to go ahead and throw her up on the turntable and then give you some final thoughts. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Alright, so here is the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 101. The HasLab Cobra Hitch Driver, tier unlock figure with all her accessories in all her glory. Uh, cool figure. I kind of like this, maybe most of... Most of all, out of the three so far, um, I enjoy the, you know, extra accessories. That's cool. Um, the fist hands, they fit so much better in scale on the female than they do on the male uh, versions of the figure. Um, the figure is nice and flexible. The poseability is, is great. That articulation just seems to work a little bit better than the others. Hence, it doesn't have the uh, ab crunch, but it works. Um, the hammer and the shovel are pretty neat additions. Um, nice stuff to go into the back of the hiss and uh, while we're at it We're gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple pictures because we're actually gonna load that up with this and we'll show you right here So yeah, they fit in there nicely. Um, I like that So that's cool. You can actually store, you know, all these weapons if you don't have them on the physical characters themselves And that's a plus so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. So if you did, please, like always, leave that giant thumbs up. Subscribe. Tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.